five, four, three, two, one, seven, eleven. We're here. Episode twenty seven. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Woo! What's going on, nation? First things first. It's before, November. Before we start the show. <laughs> Uh, this show will now be available on SoundCloud. Wow. So now you can download... My voice is like cracking. You yes. can download Brood Nagaki. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. And download it, listen to it, wherever the fuck you want to listen to it to. Wherever. In well, yeah, we're the first source of the news. So, I'm going to show you guys where you can find it on SoundCloud. Yeah, because I didn't find it. So, <laughs> let me just open this. Yes. Second screen right now. Second screen right now. now. Here. You're going to see it. That's how he found so, it. You if you go it? on SoundCloud, so I'm Sound. typing in SoundCloud. SoundCloud, that's nothing. You go on SoundCloud. SoundCloud.com, all right? The page will open. You click the search in the corner. Search in the corner. You type in Brudne Gatki. You click search. And we are right here. And this is our page now with my beautiful face and my nipples. Brood Nagatki. And that's last week's episode. And this episode that you're listening to right now will be up as well. And that's how you find it on SoundCloud. And if you're listening to this on SoundCloud, <coughs> welcome to the show on SoundCloud. You can watch this on YouTube on Grant Stye's YouTube channel. The link will be in the description for the sound uh, SoundCloud podcast. But yeah, we are available on SoundCloud. You could download, watch, like on SoundCloud. Listen. Yeah, listen. Whatever. No, <laughs> you can watch on SoundCloud. Sounds mean sound. Yeah, picture, man. But picture. we're on SoundCloud. Yeah. Oh, welcome everybody. Especially these people who don't speak English. Welcome. Yeah. Okay. First topic. Yeah, you have topics or what? Oof, fucking Go. November. It's an unbelievable topic today. Alrighty. He doesn't have any topics. Oh. Uh, we hit, I hit a milestone yesterday with uh, the Grant Stye's YouTube channel. What? We've officially been watched, finally, in uh, 200 countries around the world. Wow. Welcome so, to Africans, people. So... I've been watched in 200 countries around the world, so I finally hit that milestone. I'm global. Wow. wow. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Been like watch- they say in Mozambique, unga bunga. Yeah, I don't know if they say that in Mozambique. <laughs> Whatever. Did you know in Netherlands... Okay. Like in Polish, tak, it means English, yes. Okay, yeah, you're talking about language speaking. Yeah, like in Polish language. Yes. Tak mean yes. Yes. But in the Netherlands, tak mean okay. hello. Okay. So tak tak. <laughs> tak tak. I said uh, hello to Netherlands and tak to Polish people and yes to our people. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on, nation? What happened was Thanksgiving. And Black Friday. Oh my god, Black Friday. Yesterday I went to the bus pro. Yeah. Just looking. Yeah. I couldn't park the car. Yeah. I parked the car on an island. Yeah. Because with so many people. And I listened to people how they opened the door and everybody said, Oh my god, do you believe it how many people is here? Uh, yeah, it's Black Friday. No, it was Saturday, actually. Yeah, but, but anyway, all sales so all people weekend. no give a shit. They was parking on handicaps parking, no handicaps. It's ridiculous. If tomorrow, like yesterday, sorry, the parking enforcement will be having them so much money. <laughs> but these idiots didn't came to the shop. 
I, they don't know when they're coming to take it the cars. Yeah, because uh, most people in the world are idiots. So that's how it yes, works. Yes, that's freaking... No, they're going to bother the little guy who just park, you know, in a uh, f go for food, which is necessary. But if you go for clothes and everything, you should tag them, pack them and send the ticket because you can wait and park normal spot. I don't know why I even bothered, but it was ridiculous, ridiculous. The one guy parked the bus because he brings bus. people oh, with fuck. yellow bus okay. and he takes seven spots. Mm -hmm. We could the park the, along the curb, like, you know, and bus will be no blocking, nothing. Uh, and the people will be parked. No, it's unbelievable. Why I tell you so many people. Not really good deals. No? No. I'm like, they just uh, came here. Only good deal was with the uh, headphones in the Best Buy. Oh, of course. On a Friday only. <laughs> <laughs> and it was my Beats, Rewireless Beats, and they drop it to $197 mm -hmm. just for that day. Mm -hmm. Studio. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. But that's it. But yeah. But anything? So, yeah, what new topic you News have? around the world. Here wow! So there was a big news story in Europe. What? <laughs> yes. What happened? There was a circus in Paris. Ooh, I never heard of The that. other day. Okay. And the circus has a bunch of tigers. <gasps> Kitty cats. And for some reason, one of the tigers got loose from the circus so there was a live tiger roaming paris and this is the funniest part the tiger went to the eiffel tower no way so this real full fucking tiger is hanging out at the eiffel tower so the cops in paris find out about it so the cops show up to the eiffel tower <laughs> and they see the tiger no so yeah. so they decided let's just shoot the fuck out of this tiger <laughs> danger of the public yeah yes so they shoot and murder the fuck out of this tiger in front of the eiffel tower now this is the big problem with this what is the problem? Because there were terrorist attacks two years ago in Paris. And a bunch of guys with machine guns were in Paris shooting people. And the Paris cops didn't do anything or re retaliated to terrorists that were harming the people of Paris. These were terrorists threatening people in Paris. And they basically did nothing. They had a call for help from other countries like to help to get rid of the terrorists. Now, for some fucked up reason, a tiger shows up, and all the cops, for some reason, have machine guns now today, and thinking the tiger's a threat, but really didn't even attack anyone. It just sat on the grass in front of the Eiffel Tower, hanging out like a kitty cat, and they're like, we must kill and murder this fucking kitty cat. Out of nowhere. Fuck, uh... Fuck the cat, basically. Hashtag fuck the cat. <laughs> no, but it's fucked from, up. From different because, perspective view, uh, because from the law perspective view, uh, any chance... We don't know the Paris laws. No, no, but doesn't matter. We don't but, know the Paris uh, laws. Listen, from, so. the, from, the, from, the, from common sense. Yeah. Tiger on the loose. Tiger sitting on the grass. Common tiger, sense. Common sense. You get, get a trank... You get a tranquilizer. Oh, they don't you have knock time. it out. They probably yes, they do. Yeah, but they, they have all the time in the world. The tiger's not running away yeah, anywhere. Yeah, but they know. No, no, they know how the first thing. The tiger's already fed. He's not hungry. He, how we he know? works in a circus. He's always <laughs> fed. He's union member. Yeah, he's union, union member. member. Listen, if I'm the captain of the Pluto platoon. And There's I'm no going, platoon, it's no. police. Yeah, but like... It's this, not military. Yeah, but even if you have the order... That's what makes them... Order, sick. catching or killing, I don't care. Make safety public. Your first response is... That's not safety. A bunch of cops went in the largest fucking tourist attraction area in Paris, 
open fire exactly. shooting. I, exactly. I That's stop not you. safe. Listen. You shouldn't do that. Yeah, yeah. You. Listen, That's what the uh, fuck I, does. Listen what you just said. In the most popular tourist attraction, it's not zero threat. Tiger is, let's say, 1% threat. You have to eliminate it. What happened if he spoke and started running away? No. What you... if the cops show up with machine guns, start shooting at the tiger, and hit someone with bullets? What if they shoot someone by accident? Trust me, they probably shoot him tiger, not the fucking nobody. That's the <clears throat> thing. Like, they see it from a distance, and they start shooting and following you it. Never They're s- not paying hey, attention You didn't here. see this, how they were shooting them. Did yeah, it's on them? TV, on okay, the Okay, so how did you see them shooting? They should. They just shot him mm. on the grass. Well, exactly, one shot and done. No, not one shot. They fucking like went like, all right, he's just a giant meat bag. We're gonna just light him up and shoot the fuck. I out think of so. Him. You know, human, uh, human being more important. They have more tigers in the fucking circus. One tiger down. Whoop de doop. No, they could have done it a way safer and better way they did it very very retarded no i'm thinking very retarded very because you look safety. at the terrorist attacks from two years ago they did fuck all and they let hundreds of people die all the cops in paris they fucked the bed and then for some reason with this tiger two years later they all show up with fucking guns and shoot the fuck out yeah, of I the don't tiger know, i don't know you really remember what happened in paris the fucking terrorists came out from fucking cars, shoot the cop, run away with the guns. And on the at spot. that time, the law in Paris were cops weren't allowed to have guns. That's, what that's how fucked that's up what this saying. is. That's how fucked up the laws so are. They now there. have the guns and can use yeah, them. Yeah, and Last, then, if they have no guns this time, well, they're gonna throw the rocks or something. And then they're gonna they're gonna fucking just murder the fuck out of an exotic animal. It's not murder. It's prevent. No, safety. they murdered no an animal. No. Period. No. Fuck the tiger. Yeah. I don't wanna he bite somebody kid or something. Fuck the tiger. That's it. What I'm saying. He was just hanging out. Uh, no, no hanging out. Tiger in the fucking public area. You yeah. don't know what this fucking tiger's problem is. Maybe he have herpes. Maybe he just got fucked up abusing That's why the circus. You tranquilize it no. and you put it down and you take it no, out of the location. Understand. You don't understand. The yeah. chance of how do they hunt the tigers in the wild and bring them to the zoo? Why can't you do the same Hello. thing? I, why I, can't you do the same thing? I try explain to you. That's what the, I'm saying. The most popular, popular area. Yeah, in if, Paris. Yeah, if. The guy shoot him with triangulizer. Yeah. It's three minutes still before they go into his system. He can run in a rage of the scare. He can get in mode somebody. That I agree with. This is, was exactly the same with this Huramba. Listen, they Huramba who take the kid. Can, that's not they the was, same. Yeah, he was the same thing. No, he it was wasn't. Kid. That was different. No. The Harambe situation was he was already in a cage. The kid fell in the cage. That's this th- is different. The tiger was out, escaped from the cage. It was in the public. Harambe was not Listen, in the public. If they just you shot have it, a, your friend. They shot a fish in the barrel. Beside the tower. So many people. If the tiger spooked and booting over there, he will be gone. And on the way, he gonna freaking maul somebody. If you have a but the chance, thing is, it didn't maul anyone. Doesn't matter. We don't know anyone. what this guy is. It didn't eat unpre- anyone. No, tiger like a horse is unpredictable. So you yeah. Have to when was the last time you see a horse eat someone in the wild? Go ahead, tell me when. That's a perfect good comparison. No, but like in yeah, so, you no, see the horse hang no, out. No, no, you no. don't see it see, attack you're someone. Listen, to what I'm saying. Okay. Animals unpredictable. Yes. As humans are unpredictable, no, no, no. that's what happened so with the Las Vegas know. shooting, Sandy Hook shooting. Like, people are unpredictable as well. Yeah, but more predictable is animals. So. No, not if you give French cop cops guns for the first time ever, and they decide to go shoot fucking exotic well, it animals. it has to be first time. It's fucked so up. So now they know... If you're terrorist, you're gonna be end up like a tiger. Uh, yeah, you're gonna right? end up like a tiger. Good for example. <laughs> but like I said, first humans, then everything rest. Fucking shoot the tiger, skin him, fucking hanging by giant uh, uh, thing. I don't give a shit. You have the green light. You see the tiger sit, have a break. Whoopsie doopsie, his mistake. Eliminate threat. Done. And bring the freaking uh, bill to the circus. 
for the boat. Ring the bells. Ah, or... Fuck this sideways. <laughs> Make this all fucking... Look at this, how many now uh, media and everything uh, have to use the tapes and digital equipment to film this shit. Yeah. Here you go, Tiger. What the Tiger name was? Because probably next next week we're gonna have a fucking uh, protest of PETA and then all fucking animal uh, and then Tiger gonna go to next list with Mufasa, the ti- uh, lion was shot, <laughs> and Horamba freaking uh, second anniversary of the dead beautiful gorilla was shot <laughs> but what about the kid that's what i was saying people don't understand they was crying about gorilla but nobody said about the kid was safe that's the stupid thing on the planet thank you listen stop it that was Stop. a long time ago. Oh fuck! Long, and you obviously sounds like Star Wars, fucking yeah. Long, long time ago. Because I'm talking about the tiger, and you keep switching to the gorilla. No, but because it, I know. You, I'm I right. tell you how this work in. Uh, I'm telling you. Really work? That's, no way! I that's, want a tiger running fucking inside. The busiest attraction on the earth, Pinas Tower, freaking and in the French. And then, then, then and you're gonna see the tiger sitting, and what are you gonna wait? Okay, let's see what he's thinking. Okay, let's strangulate him. Poof! Three minutes. He gonna get in the ass, and he gonna be like this ball freaking how to taste them or the Broncos, and he gonna first thing he gonna see it. He don't gonna know. He don't know what hit him, and he the first thing he gonna see it. He have the pain, and the reaction to the pain is destroy everything. So he gonna launch it. The first fucking tourist, and it's probably the Polish guy, and he fucking mow him. But the thing is, how do you know if a tiger's gonna react like that? You oh, don't know if it's gonna react everything, like that. how you're watching the uh, animal planet, everything you see it, it's first is boom, and it's booting, and it's freaking catching something because he could start be like uh, spinning and everything, and he don't know what to do. Yeah. So he, first thing he gonna freaking, and if he sees something, then he gonna be scared. He can't fight anymore, so he gonna start protect self and maybe whack this guy. I tell you, this always like this. Ask the David Salmoni, fucking the the, the David guy. the David was uh, in a circus before, mm-hmm. and the fucking uh, lion will launch on him. Yeah, but that's a lion. That's not a tiger. Oh, fucking the same bullshit. The, the, the sk- cats is crazy. <laughs> Special French cats. French cats, yeah. Go to see in tower. What happened if we go to elevator? <laughs> Listen, I think you, they did a good job. Good job, military friends. Freaking. Again, it's not military. I keep saying it's well, police. Oh, what the it's fuck? No the same. Military. Police. What the police stands for? What does it stand for? Yeah. Predictable, unacceptable. <laughs> 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 anyway, so listen. Listen. Netflix. Brand new season trailer Park Boys came out the other day. Oh my God. Everyone is super excited because it's new season of Out of the Park with Trailer Park Boys. You know how they did? They went through Europe last time, Out yes, of the Park yes, season. Yes, yes. Now it's them uh, going with, uh, road tripping through America, Out of the Park, Trailer Park Boys. So they start in Florida. Uh-huh. I watched the first two episodes. They're in Orlando, Florida, first two episodes. They don't, go, they don't go to Disney World. They don't go to Universal Studios. And guess where you think they go in the first episode trailer Some park kind boys. of trailer park inside of Orlando. They go NASA astronaut training. Oh, that's cool. At NASA, they meet, actually, Chris Hadfield, the Canadian astronaut. Oh, okay, we know. And they, Bubbles is flying a spaceship with Chris Hadfield with Ricky, Simulator. With Ricky and Julian in the back seat. <laughs> oh, and because they're Canadian. Holy yeah. shit. They put him, the best, they put him in the big wheel that spins them and yeah. they're spinning like fucking. Oh, and the G forces. Yeah, and all that shit. Oh my god, it was so funny. And then the second episode, Ricky's like, I want to wrestle uh, a- alligators. <laughs> I'll be fine. And he, Keep going. And he's right. Re- and he goes to a full alligator pin. And where are you going? He said he had to pee. He walks out of the house. 
Like I don't understand. Keep talking, I don't understand. Talk. You're I'm the talking. retard. We're supposed to be doing a show. Yeah, but you retard. I told You're you to keep retard. talking. You're the retard. You're retard. We're supposed to be talking. You said about the trailer boys. Yeah, keep I, talking. Talking I didn't about, watch it. I want to talk to you about it. Oh, I'm sorry. So I just wanted to close the door because uh, I forgot. And then, and then, and uh, but he, Ricky, goes to an alligator farm, and he actually tries to wrestle live alligators. Is the best. Well, that must be hilarious. He actually walks into an alligator, like, pond, and there's like eight of them in front of him, and but that's the you see ones. how he has such a straight face, not shedding his pants. He's like two feet; they could just jump and bite him, and he's like, "Come on, let's go! I'll let you sucker bite me. Let's go, fuck." <laughs> <laughs> so what's funny oh it's good season so far i love it fucking trailer park boys is the best very good movie uh, recommended Fallon on netflix that's from 2008 or something a story about the guy construction guy who have a bit of a business and his house get invaded but some guy and by in uh self-defense he killed the guy and he ended up in a jail and then the fucking hell uh, get loose unbelievable watch it very good movie. Sounds like a shit movie. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's better than Tiger on the fucking grass. Yeah, but that's not a movie. That was real life. Oh, and uh, so Jeff Bezos, after Black Friday. Who is Jeff Bezos? Jeff Bezos, <laughs> the guy who owns Amazon. Oh, hundred million. 100 He's a hundred billion dollar net like worth now, like mm -hmm. net worth. He after Black Friday, basically this is what happened. Before Black Friday. He was considered, like, one of the richest guys in the world, I believe. Richest guys in the world. Or in America. One or the other. He had $94 billion, roughly, estimated by people and reporters. And after Black Friday, now he has $100 billion because the stock was... What is the stock? I have it written down. So after Black Friday... The stock surged up. It went up 29.84 points. So if a bunch of people bought Amazon stocks before Black Friday and then sold them after Black Friday, there would be a lot of millionaires in America right now. But yesterday was big news about the Amazon in of, Europe. In Europe. But everybody went on a strike. Germany, French, and this, they don't get pay enough. And they what are you look, talking about? Yeah. Amazon pays people awesome. No. They pay minimum no, to no. every worker $15 an hour no. in the States. I know, but not in the Germany. They they were showing on the news. I, I don't yesterday. believe that. Though. No, no. It was like German, French, and something. And they say they're not coming back to the work after... They're not working Sundays in Europe. And yeah. they said they're not coming work to the Monday. So I don't know how this went Black Friday. They walk away on Thursday night. I don't know. Ger Jeff, all German. Jeff Bezos. Every Amazon. You can check. Like right, you can check on the internet. I yeah, see it. Yes. I don't know. On the I didn't Friday. see that anywhere. I just saw he made a hundred billion dollars. Yeah, so. that's true. Oh, second thing. So, and uh, Jeff Bezos is rocking and rolling in that dough. Oh, second thing Look. about Tesla. Oh, okay. I I checked this thing where I was talking to you, and it's uh, about the semi truck to trailers. And how you're going to, you know, how far you're going, how will work, how are you charging. Yeah. And then going to be the tr basically the the brakes on the track to try charging everything from the braking. And they have special brakes where you not, not have to change ever. Mm -hmm. They, they, they uh, it's unbelievable. Plus they uh, have a charging station now. Mm-hmm. Who get uh, power by solar panels, mm -hmm. and it's free, and basically you running free truck, powered by right. the uh, sunlight. Yeah, and they real reveal a pickup truck too, which is bigger than a normal truck, and you can put F one fifty to this pickup truck on the back of this pickup truck. Mm -hmm. But right now they have a problem with the width. Because the in the truck industry, 2.6 meters, you can't be wider than 2.6 meters. And this truck is a little bit wider than 2. He is wider than the semi, mm -hmm. the pickup truck. So uh, he said, uh, but who cares? And I think so they're going to make this, uh, Elon Musk said. Yeah. 
Well, we already talked about Tesla last week. We don't need to talk about no, it. No, I know, but you missed the pickup truck. Yeah, there was. I didn't. No one gave a shit about the pickup truck. If there was a pickup truck, and uh, no one put it in any highlights, nothing. So. And I watched yesterday how they was testing new roaster. And yeah, it's unbelievable how the camera went inside and how they're going 1.9 seconds. Holy shit! Everybody say holy shit inside the car. The guy was a race car driver who mm -hmm. testing, and he was all night give rights to the people who want to test this car and he driving but they sitting beside and how he booting and even he said he's he he ra he race cars the fastest cars on the planet mm -hmm. and uh, and he said that that's acceleration there's no car on the planet have like this from zero to 1.9 and you have a hundred miles an hour this is ridiculous mm -hmm. this is amazing second thing since we're on the topic of cars. God damn it, again I forget it. You interrupt How about. Have you ever thought what is. No, you're supposed to have notes. Oh, shh. So. <laughs> I have my notes. I know. But we see. It's over there. Last time I watched this show and I see a piece of paper on the paper. Yeah, bottom. but you don't see what's on the paper. No, but like you should hiding this. It is better. Hiding. No, but no, no, no. Uh, I see on last show we have it. But did you ever wonder what. Since we're hitting the end of the year, yeah. might as well look up different kinds of lists on oh, the internet. Oh shit, I have to pee. So, why do you have to pee again? <laughs> I drink water. Yeah, you should pee fucking uh, before. Anyway, you have after. a list now? List, yes. I go pee. So, up 10. Keep talking. Top 10 ugliest cars of 2017. 2017? Yes, because since it's the end of 2017... There is a list online. Right. Top 10 ugliest cars. So, top 10 ugliest cars of 2017. Bam. We got it. Hey, come on. We're doing a show. Stop making noise. Like a, No, it doesn't matter. Don't talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay. But I'm we have the top 10, 10 cars? ugliest cars of 2017. What number you, 10. What do you think number 10 is? No idea. Honda HRV. Oh, the new one. The new one. Oh, with this nice back light. Yes, it's ugly. Oh, my no? God. Okay. Number 9. Okay. Toyota Yaris. Oh, fuck this is shit. considered yeah, ugliest that, car. That of 2017. should be number one. <laughs> Infinity QX80 is eight. It's like a what? Big, it's like a big SUV. Oh, that balloon. Number yeah, that's eight. the ugliest. Thing. Number eight for okay. ugliest car of 2017. Show me all the cars too. Number seven, Jeep Cherokee. Is number seven. I like this actually. For I agree with him because I think that's a stupid uh, front on that car. You don't like it? I no. like actually I like this. Uh, so. Number six, Mitsubishi Mirage. Mirage is the for Ooh. ugliest car. They know even popular in Canada. So I don't now know. let's go to the top five. Okay, number five, five the Toyota Prius, 2017 for uh, ugliest car. Actually, I like her. Okay. Number it's better than before Prius. Number four, Nissan Juke. Oh, that's fucked up car since I remember. <laughs> now here's the shocker I found on this list. Number, Number three is the BMW i3. Oh yeah, that thing is terrible. But uh, see, did you see that the... looks like a I've seen the car. No, but the, I see around. in the real life. Yeah, real life. It I looks was good. looking around. No, the interior is terrible. I don't know. It looks good. It's, it's a hybrid, fucking like you know, a paper, it's not bad. Like a, a cheap office desk corner. It's ridiculous. And they say it's drive like a like a go-kart. Yeah. <laughs> Number two. Okay. Lincoln MKT. That's not 17. They don't even make this thing. This is 17. Honest to God, they don't make this thing. This is 17. Oh, that's wrong page. That no, something it's not. is wrong. Did you put 2017? 17, ugliest cars. MKT? MKT. That's not. They don't make them anymore in this year. I know this. 
But oh. this year is over. Yeah, but even the year before they was no making. This is fucking... They stopped 2016. And number one. Okay, so maybe. Okay, number one. Da -da -da -da, yeah. Drums. The Fiat 500L is the ugliest oh, yeah. 2017 yeah, that thing car. Yeah, really ugly button. Yeah. But it's big. I mean, a little big. It's big little. It's bigger in 500. And this is 500L, yeah? But yeah. I was very surprised that uh, the BMW i3 no, that's cool. yeah. was number three. That cheap shit. I tell you. BMW i8, that's beautiful car. Yeah, but it's like, it's just it's electric it's the too. same car. It's literally the same car, no, they just stretched it. Uh, no, interior is completely design different. The material in the interior is unbelievable, beautiful. Uh, <laughs> complete different this this is like for you know if you live in a city and you want to go to evander store buy the energy drinks and come back yeah that's okay what the bmw i3 yeah that's uh, terrible did you see his wheels the plastic wheels they have covered not even they like make this car i don't even know how much this car costs but that's that price should be seven thousand dollars <laughs> honest to god i don't i don't know people some people like it like he look uh kind of futuristic a little yeah. bit but compared to i date with close eyes i'm buying the other one even i have to spend more money it's complete uh, different game mm -hmm. where is i4 i5 i6 i7 the me we're missing the models between them why this i3 and i8 and nothing between uh yeah that's, so they was complaining yesterday with BMW on uh, Motor Week. Okay. Uh, the new BMW 538 or something pop out. Nice, very nice, you know. 538. Yeah, okay. some new 5 Series. Yeah. Who was four year missing and now it's coming back. Mm -hmm. And uh, for driving, for material, but they said interior is compared to Mercedes now is like up behind time. Mm -hmm. If you go to S class, you have nice two screens, Mercedes, okay. beautiful lights, beautiful everything. You go to Audi, the same thing. Now even Volkswagen have from because Volkswagen is with Audi. Yeah. Now have digital dash and everything is screen, no screen, whatever you want is there. And then a freaking BMW have like fucking sticking screen, not even popping, just sticking, compared to this other guys, what is unbelievable, mm -hmm. like. Uh, I know from my experience, uh, I was driving BMW 5 Series a long time ago, and I was impressed with his, uh, like, uh, comfort of the driving. Mm -hmm. like, it was ridiculous. We was going on the construction site, and we was going on this, and it was like on the pillow. I couldn't believe it. There's no way my Caddy like DTS is going to be like this, even I'm on the pillows. Like which car again? Like 500 Series. Yeah. Uh, and this was like, boy freaking 10 years ago i drove a brand new one it yeah you nice. drove this nice it's the most viewed video on the channel yes that's beautiful and then okay uh, let's talk about mma that's uh i had that on my list the ufc 218 is coming up next saturday which we are going to watch and recap and give our full analysis on that pay-per-view the three big fights for the main event card is holloway versus aldo I believe that's a championship fight. I did not re write down what championship. I just know it's a championship fight. I know there's going to be a huge heavyweight match in the main event. Ovamir versus... Uh, oh, I can't even say his last name. Na Nagu? Na Nagana Nagu? Something like that? Oh, yeah. That's some kind of African. Like a, a Brazilian like African. I don't know what he is. Okay. He's like a... He's, they're just like big. They both weigh 265, 250. It's going to be like fucking two oh, it's gonna be quick. giant rhinos just yes, fucking collide, hitting yeah. each other. Yeah. And then obviously one big fight that everyone's looking forward to, Pettis versus uh, uh, Haldo or whatever the fuck his name is. That's going to be a big fight. They're like really light guys. Uh, there's a chick fight for the main event. Two random chicks. I didn't write it down. But I was listening prediction for the show by Joe Rogan. And I called yeah. him his 
how he talk about this card. Holy shit. Of which card though? Wait, this one. The two- Holy shit. The UFC 218? Yeah. He said that's a very good card. But yesterday, I didn't even know, was UFC in Shanghai and Michael Bisbuk was knocked out in the first round. He shouldn't have uh, fought that early. Yeah, they said... <coughs> they said... Uh, they wow. S- they said uh, they should be... Because he was beat up so much three weeks before. And he said she should not go. And, this, uh, and the other guy is ridiculous good with straight punches. I forgot his name. But I was listening yesterday, Joe Rogan. Uh, but it's like podcast, how... And he tell the story, what happened. But it's like how... Does oh, what UFC happened? Even let no, no, no. You Michael know what happened? Bisping I know the story. Fight. What happened? Some guy supposed to fight in a main event in Shanghai. Shanghai. It was positive for steroids or something. Okay. So they put him away, and they know on the council. And for last moment, they call Michael oh, they Bisping. Threw him in Bisping, last minute. And he said, "Okay, I'm coming." And he said, "Bisping is crazy. Bisping fucking." And he said, "Bisping, how he practices." He get fucking punch in the head in the practice, and he still practice. Mm-hmm. He said that some guy name, even before his fight with the belt, he was knocked down two times cold before he go to fight in the trainings. So he said that's have to have effects on the you know reflex and everything. So Michael Bisky is animal. Mm-hmm. So he said fuck it, I'm gonna fight, no problem. Jump on the plane, go first down, poof, cold. Goodbye, yeah, Charlie. Yeah, holy crap. So that's what they know on the council of Shankar. And Joe Rogan, hello to Joe Rogan. He's in Hawaii right now. Okay. Relaxing. So It's okay. This is our show, not his oh, show. Oh, and his show is, like I said, so. on MMA. Yeah, but the, we're on our show. We're talking uh, our show. Yeah, but like I said, when I yeah. get the news, so if you something I said wrong, that's on mm, the uh, yeah. Joe Rogan show. But anyway... Uh, yeah, so Michael Bisbing, because he won't have last fight for his retirement in England, mm-hmm. so they should give it to him, and, and, and then he jumped on the plane, go over there, now he's cold, and then, oh, they, it was a lot of talking about the uh, concussions and everything, and he said that some unbelievable guys who was welter championship, he got knocked down on a training, mm-hmm. and he quit, he working, uh, five to t- nine to five jobs now and he don't want to come back mm-hmm. because uh, he was scared about his life that's even going to all normal wrestling like uh, your guy who get neck problems and he quit to smart guy uh, two brothers canadian edge and uh, christian uh, exactly edge very smart move move out yep yeah so yeah. Well, his doctor bit told him, he was already fucked up. His whole spine shifted one inch in his body already. Oh, that's how fucked up it was. That. So the, the that's healthy issue, you know. You have to know what you're doing. Uh, yeah. He's gonna be on the new uh, Viking show, whole season. They oh, yeah, just yeah. finished filming yeah, in he's Ireland. Yeah, a lot of shows. I saw him. I saw him on the Flash. Who? Edge? Yeah, he played like some guy, bad guy, something. Yeah, more t- more than one time. He's yeah. in the Flash. Yeah, oh. that thing. Because I know. Yeah. Yeah, Edge always he's like one of the main guys on Vikings, and then Cri- Christian's always like, "Well, I'm on uh, extra in Murdoch mysteries." <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> and they always like make fun of each other. It's uh, they have a good show. What? You have topic? Do you have a topic? Oh, Come I on, I am letting you. You see, what what do you want to talk about? <laughs> you should be always prepared. I know, but you, every time you ask me, I have it, and then I forget. Did you have a no down anywhere? No, it was like in a. It was very busy. I was doing salad yesterday. You were doing salad. A poor salad, you know. Holy shit! With Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. We the best buddies. Gordon now. Ramsay. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching him on YouTube and I, I'm learning everything. So anyway, so yeah, Rara preparing, you know, uh, Christmas coming. So borscht with uh, pierogies and salads, uh, cooking stuff, going to this, and then we have a new self defense lesson. 
I can show you one move with legs. Oh fuck! I'm not uh, doing this shit. So we have to move this table. No. I uh, show you. I'm not doing this. I show shit. you two just moves. It's gonna I'm be quick. I'm not doing this shit. No. Just stand up. Okay, listen. Stand I found up. I found this the other day, which made me laugh. Did you know there's a USA Twerk Championship? <laughs> no. <laughs> I know what it's twerk, but no. There is a USA, they do it every year, USA work, uh, not work, twerk championships work. in Vegas. And it was hosted by porn star Alexa Texas or whatever his name is. Yeah, Alexis Texas, that's her name. <laughs> and it's a bunch of t chicks twerking. But it's funny because it's like none of them, it's not like fat ass chicks. There's just normal chicks twerking and like thongs and stuff. It's like the funniest thing. I'm going to show it to you. But it's called the USA Twerk Championships. And it's fucking hilarious. I thought it was funny. I was looking up weird things like what's happening in the world. And this is one of them. USA Twerk Championship. So basically, they just grab a bunch of chicks. I don't know when they do this or where they do this, but it's just called the USA Twerk Championship. And the video is... Boom. Let me do that. And let me open... Do, do, do. Twerk Championships. Twerk Championship. Shake it. Shake it. Shake this ass. Oh, yeah. So let me turn down the volume on that. Boom, boom, boom. Or actually, no, we'll just keep the volume. So basically, it looks like this. Okay? We're gonna click. Bam. Get it rolling. So they got like the torque championships. <laughs> okay. That's the chicks they're competing. This is one of the chicks competing. Twerking away. Every year in Vegas, she grabs a random dude, she's like, what up, I'm going to twerk on him. She's twerking on the dude, shaking her booty. Very it's very interesting. Booty. She's really shaking. The guy's like, oh, wow, wow, wooey, I'm going to get pink eye. Here we go. Time to get the pink eye. <laughs> twerking away. Well, that, you don't really see her twerking. But basically, the objective is who could shake their ass the best, oh, and man. they win a prize. So, there's basically <laughs> this show. Thank you. With the twerk. Thank you for third view. And it's called the Twerk Championships. And it happens uh, every year. USA, what? USA Twerk Championships in Las Vegas. Oh, only in Vegas. I don't know where they do it, but I believe they probably do it at the... A Strip club. No, I think they do it at the a uh, AVNs. Yeah, they do it at the AVN. They do it at the AVN, which is the adult... Uh, of course. They do the ad adult... It's like the porn awards, basically. It's like an event over there. Oh, okay. So everybody who wants twerking... So if you want to look up uh, USA Twerk Championships, it's pretty uh, interesting and funny Vegas. to watch. Do not go so, to the Paris. The Tigers lose. Yeah, if you go to Paris, uh, the Tigers You could be might shot or the Tiger can be shot. A bunch of people could be shot. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, beautiful uh, weather for the next two weeks. Still no snow. I was going to say, there's no beautiful weather today. It's, it's cold. cold. Today a little bit cold. But it's cold. But, but, uh, but uh, start... Tuesday is supposed to be like 15 degrees plus. It's unbelievable. Already people said, book the sick day on this day. <laughs> on which day? On Tuesday. On Tuesday? Yeah. I have already the day off on Tuesday. So, so. you can walk nicely in like short sleeves. Wow, wow, wow. It's supposed to be very nice, yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow a little bit bumping, but Tuesday, wow. Mm hmm. Air conditioning car. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, beside this, how you guys feeling about the... Uh, uh, you can't talk to them. They can't talk back. There's no point of talking to them. <laughs> Hello, everybody. They don't talk back. Can you say... 
They can't say anything. You can't hear them. Ho! When I say hey. <laughs> ho, oh, hey. Hey, ho. Listen, the best uh, thing what I found out lately is Lit- nothing. Listen, the new uh, 30 Seconds to Mars song. Oh, all about music. Oh, well, yeah, really right. good. Very good uh, single. Walk on Water. Walk on Water. You like it? Yeah, it's really good. It was playing in your thing? Yes, it was playing. Because I said well. last time wasn't going, so I forgot to tell you we'll make this and they're going to go with this. No, thing. it was going. It was, he and was... showing the names and everything? Yeah. Okay. And uh, Walking on the Water, very good song, yeah. That's very and good. Jared is... Leto did a good job with yes, that. Yes, and a uh, new album, Taylor Swift. Is really good. Oh, man. I have something to comment about this. Okay. I listen this album yes because there's nothing to listen so i listen actually and i find i went to conclusion she fucked up on this album what do you mean she fucked musically up? how i know like this electronic drums she can stick with dr- big drum. i hear these drums on every song and it sounds terrible i'm like what the fuck that's like a cheap same lens what they introduce you how do you day. know it's not a synthesizer well, or anything e- even this should be original drum and it will be beautiful sound. But somehow she put this electronic shit and it's like every song is good. But the sound, the, ma- the sound is terrible. I mean, that drum make me nuts. Bzing, bzing. But the thing is, like I noticed this the other day. W- yeah. That listening to her album, yeah. I noticed why she's so successful in music. Yes. It's because every time she comes out with a new album... It's completely different from the last album. Like it doesn't everything. sound anything no, similar. No, I know, but I think so. She Nothing. Sh- she should it's listen a, whole, a few times. If you listen to like her first album she came out with, yeah, she's you listen to though, the yeah. new one today, and you listen how she morphs every time with a new album. It's actually unbelievable, like the music and yeah. what she creates. No, the album is fantastic. And like it, I have only objection. To the stupid drums is ridiculous because I like big punch and how you listen on a good system like I have it. Mm-hmm. How I crank it even in the house is not sounds like will be nice fucking drum boom. Like uh, what his know. name? Uh, it sounds seconds pretty on good. Mars, freaking amazing drum. Yeah. Uh, how uh, uh, Hollywood Undead, amazing the drums. drums. Uh, uh, f- the dragons thing. Uh, fuck Imagine Dragons. Yeah, unbelievable drums. The, the... Uh, uh, new Coldplay song, unbelievable drums. Yeah. Uh, U2, unbelievable drums. Taylor Swift, zig zig zig. So what I'm saying, it's, you know, go. you have to, don't forget it about, just not you, not your voice, not your uh, lyrics, but every instrument have to be put on the microscope keyboard this and this but the main thing bass guitar and a drum that's make fucking amazing sounds and remember like everybody said mm-hmm. do not change the rhythm in the songs because that's confusing the strippers oh that's the because yeah. if you have nice rhythm Stripper can dance and song is popular. Yeah. But if you switch it, like uh, this one song, we like it. In the middle of the night. Woo! And stop almost. What does stripper have to do that moment? Oh, okay. Now I'm dancing again. Yeah, but it, it does like a like EDM music. It does like a bass drop. Uh, it goes... It goes, brr, are you ready for it? It goes, brr, brr, like bass oh, hits after. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's good. But like, like uh, Tyler said... A new album of Iron Maiden, Book of the Soul, live chapter, uh, very good live album. Compared to Black Sabbath with Ozzy, terrible album. They say there's the worst recorded album ever, uh, live album, but you can check if you like it, Ozzy Osbourne, of course, is uh, uh, with Black Sabbath, Paranoid from Iron Man, Iron Man, he actually singing. And I was listening uh, a little bit, but uh, Iron Maiden, very good album. Uh, Taylor Swift, very good <laughs> album. And who else was? Uh, Eminem, so far. Everybody went to church lately, and everybody won't walk on the water. 
Yeah, that's what made me laugh, how yeah. they both came out with hit songs at the same time, and they're both called Walk on Water. Yes. The name is fantastic. Very popular name. Mm-hmm. And uh, I never forget, like, Chris Angel is walking on the water in Las Vegas. Chris Angel, does he even have a TV show still? I think so. He still have shows in the... Actually, he was in the rushing to hospital lately, I think so, three months ago, uh, from his Houdini fucking shit. Mm-hmm. Some kind of something happened, but I don't know really. But you know, he's still performing in Las Vegas. He hmm. live in Las Vegas on the fucking penthouse. He have to make money. Well, his big attraction. It's sponsored. He yeah. doesn't pay for it. Yeah, he just hangs yeah. Out. And uh, beside this, complete uh, week of the just cooking. <laughs> I get uh, uh, obsessed about Gordon Ramsay. Mm-hmm. And I uh, like the guy, and, and I'm thinking he's genius mm-hmm. with the marketing, mm-hmm. selling, and um, make food, make restaurants, make TV shows, everything. It's ridiculous how he's good. And uh, yeah, that's me. What about you? Uh, listen, I know I've been working in a restaurant for a long time. Yeah. I know how it is. And uh, you don't want to do it. Period. I'm telling you. You're going to have more body pains in your body from cooking than you will from truck driving any day. Because there's a difference between sitting for eight hours a day and then actually physically standing for 12 hours straight. Fucking oh, you know, spinning in a circle. You know what I learned from him? How flipping this thing's on the thing. On a fry pan? Yeah, it's, you know how this is... It's uh, pretty simple. Oh. You gotta bend it and then flick. What he said, bending, dipping. Yeah, like you... You have to like... You have go to, down and flip. Yeah, you have to point it and then you go like yeah, that like quick. Dip down. Yeah. He said dip down and flip it. And yeah. then it was what his name. He didn't know how dipping. Uh, Who Gordon didn't... Ramsay was with his daughter because she now have cooking shows and everything. Yeah. yeah. And they was on this... Oh, those kids probably know how to cook oh. so... Good. They so every each one know how to cook, but then he have a f- four, five or four. But every each one it was on his show since they little they cooking, yeah. and the, the youngest I think so now it's very. She's a, have a cook show for the kids. She have a book and everything, and he go with her sometimes, promoting. Mm-hmm. And he was on this our show, the Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Uh, the same, James Corbin, whatever. James Corden. Yeah, there was Bob and James was cooking. And it was one moment he wanted to flip the omelette. And but he, did, he fucked up? No, he don't know. He have to dip and think he just tried to it. <laughs> <laughs> was hilarious. He tried to flip like a whole omelette yeah. in a pan? Yeah, you can do it, no uh, problem. Fuck that. I Even do like, it. You have to really flick it. Yeah, you have to know how to do it. You have to practice. Yeah. But yeah, so... Uh, I'm right now, this is like 24-7 with me in the kitchen, Gordon Ramsay. He has so many shows. It's unbelievable how he uh, helping restaurants and everything. Yeah, there's no limit to cooking. You could literally cook the most random shit nonstop and try new things. There's like But the no best is how he's it. going hunting for catfish. Yeah. Uh, he go hunting deers. He hunting big rabbits and everything. And he preparing it. It's unbelievable. Then he went for uh, flying with F-16. Mm-hmm. And he had to cook for them after he prized. But he couldn't because he was light heavy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's unbelievable. I love his because he always say what he's thinking. Like he go to one restaurant, owner, it's girl. And then after he's screaming on her, fucking grow up. Yeah. And then they fire the two Mexican fucking chefs. Then he bring his chefs. His chef screaming in the kitchen, like like it's like a, like a war submarine. Yep. Three things. I need three this this this. Uh, three minutes. Three this thing. Three salmon cook. We got it, got it, got it. And they said, "Holy shit, we never do like this." And he said, "I need uh, French fries. Three plates French fries. How long? Three minutes. Three minutes. I have to put them together and sending order. And yeah. he like this. I need this." But he, that, that chef who he bring, exactly, he communicate very loud and everybody know what to do. If you know talk each He's other... He's a good expediter. They call them expediters. Yeah, no, but that was no Gordon. That was the, And then yeah. Gordon, this guy's going to cooking shows. 
<laughs> oh, so ridiculous. What do you mean disguise? Yeah, they you disguise know, okay. him how he is, and he go to some guy who he, who charging three fifty dollars uh, per uh, per cooking lessons, and oh. he go into the class and he say, let's prepare something. And he said he prepared faster than he thinking. And he turned around to him. Did you do this before? No, but it's good. <laughs> really? And yeah. And then after he find out, you fucking like Ramsey looking. And he's like, I'm Ramsey. <laughs> it was good, I tell you. You should watch his shows. It's awesome. He just goes to some random cooking school. Yeah, and... yeah. He's going. Or he's going to the woman who's cooking like crazy. Have yeah. a book signing. And he going over there and... Pretending, you know, and ask some questions. <laughs> yeah, looking, it's hilarious. But anyway, uh, yeah, very good show. I like, uh, I like him. That's lately what I'm watching. That's alright. I was watching uh, yesterday the comedian who was on uh, new stand up, who was on the uh, Joe Rogan lately, talking about he have a new Escalade Cadillac too. Uh, Jeff Brower or something like this. It was brand new on Netflix. Very funny yesterday. I watch. I think so. I fell asleep, but uh, it was Thai. I took the pills, and but I was laughing a few stuff because he said that uh, one moment he said, you know, why we know do Korea and do the good dad talking. Mm -hmm. And he said, how you do it? And he said, I explained to you how you do it. You go to North Korea and say like this, hey, what's going on here? And Un Jun Lung said, he started. Mm -hmm. And China guy, no, he started. And South Korea said, he started. I look here, who started? Knocking off. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah. And you walk away. <laughs> <laughs> and no more fight. That's it. If you have, we do the good dad fucking talk. It was funny. And yeah. Alrighty. Well, what? looks like that's it for the show. That's number 27. Number 27. We done 27. That's lots of weeks. That's a lot of talking. <laughs> that's a lot of talking. We have over 27 hours of talking. Twen uh, that's good. That's going to be forever over yeah. there. Even I'm going to be dead. Yeah. Because I think so I have like 27 years left. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. It's like a whole life. That's a whole lifetime. That's a little considered life sentence. Well, that's if you're lucky. <laughs> All right. So, everybody, thank you for being a good uh, co-host. <laughs> <laughs> and see you when I see you. Peace. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.